Hi, my name is Joanna Smoot, and I'm here to talk about generosity. A couple of years ago, I was teaching a financial literacy class, and so I was teaching on um, certain principles of financial literacy, and one of the principles that I was talking about is having your hands open and how it's better to give than receive, right? And so I'm dealing with a room full of high school students, and I really, really, really wanted to drive this point across and prove to them the power of giving um because sometimes when we're talking about things like financial literacy and any of that stuff we want to hold our hands tight we want to keep what we get in and so i went to a church sun, uh service one sunday during this time as i was teaching this class and at my church they were carrying around baskets full of money right and it, and and they wanted us they gave us the opportunity to grab from those baskets that day they didn't take up offering that day they were giving out an offering and there was a lady in the church that came and she grabbed my hand and she pulled me up and she took me to the front of the church and when she took me up to the front of the church there were people that just started coming um people with the baskets people that were uh in the congregation just started coming and giving me money right and so I ended up leaving that day with about 250 to $300. I took that money back to school. And in that class that I was teaching, I gave everybody a dollar. Each time I taught the each time I taught the financial literacy, which I had two or three classes that I was teaching that financial literacy to, I gave each student in that room a dollar, right? And I was talking to them about having those hands open and giving. And I also told them the story about how I was given to, how people poured into me just randomly. I went to church unexpectedly and I left with $250 to $300. And so, of course, they marveled at, at the story. They marveled at the thought of giving. I didn't think nothing else about it. I leave, come back the next day. A student said, hey, you know, you remember when you gave us those dollars? And I was like, yeah, I remember. He said, well, you giving me that dollar impacted me so much. He said, I had been working um, when I was at the boys' farm and I had saved over $700. He said, you know what? I'm out of the boys' farm. He said, I had my dad take me up to the boys' farm and I donated my $700 that I had been working for for about two summers and I gave it to the other boys in that class, in, in the boys' farm. He said, thank you for allowing me to see the power of giving. He said, I wanted to donate and I wanted to give back because when I was in boys' farms, there were people that donated to us and gave back. And he said, I just wanted to give those guys in there hope that like, if I can make it out, you can too. See, here's the thing. Generosity is a superpower that allows you to impact others. It's a life principle. It is a display of love and love is contagious. To be honest, for leaders, Generosity is an extended hand outside of the environment that they may lead in. Generosity is a door for them to impact larger territories than what they started out. Generosity, according to John Maxwell, 21 Laws of Leadership. We focus on others first. We are intentional about growing personally so that we have more to offer. We listen, we learn, we lead. We do things that God values. So here's the thing. When we focus on others first, we put ourselves in a position of servant, right? We become servants and, and we become serving others' needs instead of ours. Most of some of the famous leaders we know, um, we know them because they was an answer to a need. Be intentional about growing personally. That way you have more to offer. That's investing in, in reading books. That's investing in growing and learning your weaknesses and building upon your strength and building upon your weaknesses. Listen learn and lead you have to know that there's a need before you can be an answer to a need the people that you are leading have needs every day and you lead them best when you know exactly what they need and lastly do things that god values too often we don't talk about it and some of us we may not even agree with it but scripture tells us to love our neighbor love our god with our, our, all of our heart and love our neighbor as we would love ourselves so if we're intentionally giving out love if we're intentionally showing up for others the way that we would want somebody to show up for us, just imagine, just imagine how powerful that is. Just imagine what type of an example that we will be setting. Thank you. It is my hope that you leave with a desire to go and impact somebody. Find somebody to give to. Find somebody to pour into and watch it be an extension of who you are, an extension of your leadership and expand your territory.